the lady tasting tea. So the maybe not the father of modern statistics, but the godfather of modern statistics is Ron Fisher. And and so he and another scientist named Muriel Bristol, they work together at a research laboratory and they're both British, which is why they like tea. And so Muriel stops by Ron's office. They're working on a project together. So she stops by his office to talk about the project and he's just, you know, boiled some uh, <laughs> some water. So he's he's uh, making tea. And, you know, he pours the hot tea into the cup and then um, asks Muriel if she'd like some tea. And she says, um, no. And it turns out that the reason she turns it down is because there are two ways to make the tea. You can add a little milk after the tea has been poured or you can pour in the milk first and then add the tea. And Muriel thought that the tea would taste better if the milk were added first. Okay, and there is some science behind that and I won't go too deeply into it, but Ron Fisher was stunned along with his colleague, William Roach. They didn't, they, they didn't know there would be a difference. And so they were surprised that Muriel said she could taste the difference. Okay, so they ended up creating one of the world's first taste tests, and they're like, okay, we'll make eight cups of tea, four with the tea added first, and four with the milk added first, and we'll see if Muriel can identify them. And interestingly, history tells us <laughs> she was able to get all eight of them correct. So this is eight successes out of eight trials, and what was... Um, Ron Fisher's key insights into statistics from this experiment, well, he said maybe she was guessing. And if she was guessing, then um, the probability would be one half, right? It would be just like a coin flip. She would be guessing, she wouldn't be, able, if she were not able to taste the difference, she would be guessing. So, so he calculated the probability, uh, and it turns out she got all eight correct, right? So he, he calculated the probability. So the probability that she was randomly guessing and got them all right is less than 1%. This is about 0.4%. So this is the word, this is in symbols what I'm saying. So it turns out that there was about a 0.4% chance that she was randomly guessing. So what is this called? Well. This was what Ron Fisher called the null hypothesis, okay? And you'll be seeing a lot about that. The null hypothesis was that she was guessing at random, okay? But the probability of the null hypothesis was tiny. So Ron Fisher rejected it. <laughs> it was unlikely to have occurred, so instead of, instead of assuming that she was guessing, they assume that she could actually taste the difference. And that's the story of the lady tasting tea. And it, it, that's where one of our uh, big things that you'll be learning about hypothesis testing is coming up with the null hypothesis. All right.